welcome and thank you for joining me for another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. Today, we're going to be stuffing things. <laughs> stuffing shells, but not shells from the sea. They'll be pasta shells and we're going to be stuffing them with good things like spicy meat. The men love it. <laughs> Let's get started. So, we're about to get started making our delicious stuffed shells and... Frederick, what are you touching? What in the hell are you sitting on? What is that, Frederick? Oh my god, what is it? Oh no, I have an idea. Mrs. Frankenstein, when we had you over the other night, did you perhaps leave something behind? <laughs> what is this? I found something large and green and Frederick was on... You what? No. Mr. Frankenstein? Really? Is that why my toilets wouldn't flush? Oh my god! Frederick, don't touch it! Get off of it! Why was it on my counter? Uh-uh. Whoa, I'm going to boil him in his own pudding. Ew! Disgusting! I don't know. I don't... Why would you come over to my house and do that? No, it's called poopery. You spray it. Yes. Okay. I've got an episode to make. I'm done. Okay. I'll talk to you later, but I think you need to talk to your husband about his manners. That is the biggest Franken poop I have ever seen. Alright, bye. Oh. Uh, the manners of people, I don't. Uh, now I gotta. I have to disinfect my counters. I'll be back. Oh, naughty, naughty Frederick. Why did you do that? Now you need a bath. Okay, let's get started. Trust me, everything was disinfected. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to dump our jumbo pasta shells in our water, which is already boiling because who wants to sit around and watch it boil, right? When it comes to pasta, I don't measure. Screw it. Dump the whole thing in. <laughs> I just dumped it in. That's what you do. That's what we do here. You gotta give it a little stir and make sure that your pasta water has got a little bit of salt in it. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burning, cauldron bubble, make my pasta on the double. <laughs> okay, while our pasta is boiling, I'm going to boil it for about eight minutes. I want to not over boil it because I want to leave it a little al dente because they need to hold together while we stuff them. So to make the stuffing we're going to take one pound of somebody named Jimmy's flesh. <laughs> it's seasoned. <laughs> seasoned flesh. <laughs> seasoned flesh of the southern man. <laughs> I don't know why it makes it better, but perhaps it does. So we're going to cut this open and we're going to squeeze it into a pan. I've already got my pan preheating. <laughs> Watch it squish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get out of there, flesh. <laughs> we are birthing a new recipe into a pan. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Fry, my pretty! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> very sausage <laughs> Okay. The 
As much as I love the Tower of Meat, we're going to turn it over. Start splitting it up. We want this to be a fine, very fine pieces. While we brown our sausage, we can get our cheese mixture ready. One pound of ricotta cheese. We're just going to dump the whole thing into a bowl. Now we're going to put our ricotta into a bowl. <laughs> Watch it squish. <sighs> it's kind of squishy and kind of dumpy. It's weird. Get all out. Now, into the ricotta mix, we're going to put one egg. I've had it sitting out to get to room temperature, just so it'll mix a little bit better. We're going to stir the raw egg in with the ricotta cheese mix. This is going to help all of this bind. It looks disgusting. <laughs> oh, I love stirring. <laughs> Stir! Stir! <laughs> One of the good things about doing this though is it makes the cheese a little more pliable and easier to deal with. Now, we're going to go back to our sausage. I have a very hungry puppy. Just waiting for this to cook. Cook, damn you! Cook, damn you! <laughs> See how I'm chopping it up? Chopping is fun. <laughs> Chop it up. We want small pieces. We do not want big chunks of sausage. <laughs> Sometimes the being diabolical is the best part of my day, you know what I mean? <laughs> fry, fry my pretty! <laughs> fry! <sighs> my timer is about to go off! <laughs> I hear you bubbling. I hear you. Calling my name, calling my name. We're going to go ahead and dump these, get them cooled off. Now it's time to drain our sausage. When you put your sausage into the colander to drain, put a bowl underneath the colander to catch all the grease. You do not want that going down your sink. Now, if you're like me and you don't have counter space for stuff while your pans are still hot, put them on trivets on your counter. Do not let them sit on the counter hot. That's not good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wait just a few minutes. The sausage has to be cool to mix into the cheese, and then we're going to start assembling. Now, the time, I'm going to go ahead and set my oven for 350 and get it preheated. Make sure that my racks are in the right position. <laughs> racks. <laughs> Position. Okay, what we're going to do, I got all of the grease out of this that I could. We're going to dump the sausage in with the ricotta mixture. Hush, monkey. You're being naughty. I have a dog that cannot stand it when I make sausage or ground beef. She knows she's going to get drippings out of the pan later. So we're going to stir the sausage in with the cheese. It smells good, but don't taste it. Remember, it's got raw egg, and that's disgusting. I just smells a little gross, but boy, does it taste good. Actually, I think I'm going to put just a bit of dry Italian seasoning in here as well.
Ah, oh, fuck. Get, just open up this part. <laughs> Sprinkle. <laughs> I sprinkled it. <laughs> mm. Extra seasoning never hurts. Never hurts. Okay, now we're going to get to the assembling part. This is where the messy fun begins. You're going to take a 9 by 13 or bigger pan. This is an 11 by 13 because it makes a lot. Oh, sh okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take a jar of traditional spaghetti sauce. Ha 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 ha. Cheating is fun. That's what she said. If you didn't get that, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot anyway. So we're going to spread this sauce all over the bottom of the pan. If, well, I fuck, I don't have a spatula. God damn, I need spatulas for Christmas, for real. I'm gonna spread the sauce all over the bottom of the pan. Just a thin coating. This is just to keep the pasta from sticking to the pan. If you haven't figured that part out yet. This is like making manicotti, except we're using easier shells. These are a lot easier to fill than the round tubes because they tend to split. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pasta shell we're going to dip it in a little bit of the cheese mixture. <laughs> and we're going to stuff it. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, I like going over stuff to do. I want them to hurt. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty in the pan. Let me show you closer. <laughs> One, two, two stuffed shells. Uh uh. Okay, I think that's copyrighted. Three, I'm stuffing three shells. Open. Sometimes I don't want to open your mouth, and you got for some open that mouth. Put it in there. Get it in there. You know you like it. Right there. Oh, it's a good mixture. <laughs> right there, right there. <laughs> and then we're gonna put, oh, this is so exciting. I love doing this. I love doing this. It's fun and it's a bit gooey and a little bit disturbing. And it was, it's also fun to be disturbing and play with your food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, get in there. Sometimes if you have a little extra mixture, you can just stuff some of the ones that don't have as much in there. But this usually turns out pretty well mixture to a whole box of shells ratio. I do like to stuff them quite full. My hubby likes them stuffed full too. <laughs> I've tried them without the sausage. I don't like plain ricotta cheese. The sausage ties it all together. Take the time to make the sausage. If you don't like sausage, I would use ground beef with a little seasoning. Now that we have our pan of shells beautifully stuffed and ready to burn in an inferno of fiery torture, we're going to take this sauce. I did have some shells left over. I apologize. We're going to pour the sauce over the shells. If you have a little sauce, if you want it, a lot of sauce, use all the sauce. If you want a little sauce left over, then you can stick it in the fridge for a while, but I'm going to use it. We get saucy around here. Use that sauce. Now we get our shredded mozzarella. Now, usually I'm a Sargento type of witch, but when it comes to melting things like this, I want the craft with the Philadelphia cream cheese because it melts so good. Yeah, sprinkled, look at this, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. My husband loves lots, mm. and so do I. 
Oh, look at this. Oh my. Look at that ooey gooey bubbly goodness. Now we will let it rest for a few minutes before we cut and serve. Now it's time to serve, look. <sighs> oh my goodness. This is so delightfully good. Look at this. I'm fixing to make a mess, but it's good. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's what it's about right there. And a happy man we shall have. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. Sorry about what happened with Mrs. Frankenstein and Frederick earlier. I'm a bit embarrassed about that, but some people need house manners. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun boiling and frying and stuffing like I did. <laughs> Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, every Monday is a new episode. I'll see you next week. Shit! Every time I cut off one of those things, it flies over the fucking counter. Damn it. Does that smell good? Oh my goodness! Does that smell good, honey? For our cheese mixture, you're going to get one pound, or I have a 15 ounce which, I mean, freaking one shot. Come on now. If I can get this son of a bitch rabbit. Why do they fucking do this? Come on now. God damn it. Now I can't get it open. Fuck. <clears throat> so, what the hell is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This is my fucking sausage. Oh, that's a piece of pasta that was on the spin. Fucking, God, I'm an idiot. <laughs>